The Wheel of Time has been an incredibly popular series over the past few months as Amazon Prime has finally created another hit TV series. As every fan base nowadays, they really want to know more about the cast and their personal lives. So, what do we know about them? Well, stay tuned to today's video as we're going to cover the Wheel of Time's cast, real age, life partners revealed, and other things you need to know about. First up, we have Rosamund Pike. First person we have on this list is Rosamund Pike. If you don't know already, she plays Moraine Sedai on the Wheel of Time. She may not look it, but she's actually 48 years old. If you want to find more about her through social media, her Instagram page is named at M Spike. She's one of the fan favorite characters right now and is known for many other roles. She's a very famous actor already as she was in Gone Girl and also started her own podcast named Edith. She's the star of it and it's doing super well right now. She's married to Robbie Unicki and has has been with him since 2009. Next up, we have Daniel Henney. Our next person is Daniel Henney. He actually plays Lan Mandragorian in the series. Everyone has their opinions of this character, but damn, he is good looking. He looks super young, but the actor is actually 41 years old. Doing some research into the actor shows us that he has actually had a pretty cool acting career thus far. He's been in lots of different K-dramas over the years and was even in the X-Men or Origins Wolverine movie. You might also recognize his voice as Tadashi from Big Hero 6. From what we can tell, the actor doesn't have a partner right now. However, that doesn't mean he isn't hiding them. And now we have Josha Stradowski. Josha Stradowski is the next actor on this list and he plays Rand Althor on the Wheel of Time. Clearly, he is one of the most popular characters because of his looks, but also because of his character arc in the series. Josha is only 26 years old, but has already broken into the mainstream with his amazing series. Other than The Wheel of Time, Joshua really hadn't had any large roles, sadly, and he doesn't have many credits to his name on IMDb or other sites. He did lead a Dutch film back in 2018, but that wasn't the biggest thing in the world. He also doesn't have someone to settle down with right now, but he probably has someone to go home to. Next up, Zoe Robbins. Our next actor is the wonderful Zoe Robbins. She's just amazing and fans seem to love her. Her social media presence isn't the biggest, but her fan page is run by some dedicated people and has some really dedicated fans. Zoe plays Naev Almira in the series. She's also only 28 years old, so her career really is just getting started. The actress doesn't seem to have a partner that we know of, but of course, she might have one behind the scenes that we won't find out about until they get married. Zoe plays such a badass character on the series, but it's not her first time. She actually played the White Ninja Steel Power Ranger in the Ninja Steel series a few years ago. What a cool role and a great start to her professional acting career. Next up is Marcus Rutherford. Out of this entire cast, Marcus Rutherford is someone you will probably know about. Even though he hasn't been in many large projects, his face is all over social media because of this series and some other work he's done in the past. He plays Perrin Ibarra in the series and is actually only 26 years old. He's an award-winning actor as he won Most Promising Actor in the British Independent Film Awards for his recent role in the project Obey. Just like many people in the cast, he doesn't seem to have a partner right now, but probably has one we don't already know about. What do you think about Marcus Rutherford? Let us know down in the comments section below. Now we have Madeleine Madden. Our second to last person on this list is none other than Madeleine Madden. You might already recognize her from another really huge project. She actually played the live-action version of Sam and Dora and the Lost City of Gold just a few years ago now. Even though that film didn't do the best, the marketing was insane for it. You'll definitely have seen her face before. She plays Egwene Alvira in the series and does an amazing job as her character. Fans love her. She's only 24 years old, making her one of the youngest in the cast. Other than these roles, she hasn't been in much, but that's about to change. From what we know as well, she doesn't have a life partner, but for sure she'll find someone sooner rather than later. And our final actor is Barney Harris. Barney plays Matrim Cotham in the Wheel of Time and is the final actor on this list. He's only 24 years old as well and doesn't seem to have a partner either. It's crazy that these actors don't have a partner right now. Maybe they're too young to get married? Barney doesn't really have a personal social media account, so you're going to have to get into fan accounts to see more about him. They have lots of posts about the actor all over Instagram, so you'll be able to find something out. Sadly, for the second 
season in the series, Barney is getting recast as he has to leave for other reasons. He's being replaced by Donnell Finn, who was in The Witcher on Netflix as well. It's a shame to see him go, but either way, he's made his impact on this amazing series. And now we have some Wheel of Time news. And finally, Amazon's Lord of the Rings show could affect Wheel of Time Season 2. Amazon's slowly becoming a really great hub for online content, especially in the TV series department. Though Netflix will still obviously holds the crown, Amazon's clearly catching up and becoming one of the major players in the market. With the announcement of a Lord of the Rings TV series and another hit on the way with the Wheel of Time Season 2 coming, they're definitely going to have another great few years. But sadly, it also looks like the Lord of the Rings series might actually cause some problems with Wheel of Time. Newsconcerns.com stated Vernon Sanders, Amazon's head of global TV, recently spoke with TV Line about the success of the Wheel of Time and the future of the streamer's fantasy projects. He said that Wheel of Time has been popular enough that its release is being carefully considered along with Lord of the Rings and other titles. We're going to be really thoughtful about how we release these shows, Sanders explained. In our minds, they're very different shows, but we are cognizant of our genre fans, and we're excited about the collection of content we have. Those two, along with The Expanse and The Boys, Carnival Row is coming back. We have a fantastic show with Westworld creators Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy called The Peripheral. We're very excited about the future. Wheel of Time's an interesting series and could possibly be one of Amazon's biggest series for another few years until Lord of the Rings comes out. Here's the synopsis of Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time is one of the most popular and enduring fantasy series of all time with more than 90 million books sold. Set in a sprawling epic world where magic exists and only certain women are allowed to access it. Story follows Moraine, Rosamund Pike, a member of the incredibly powerful all-female organization called the Aes Sedai, as she arrives in the small town of Two Rivers. There, she embarks on a dangerous world-spanning journey with five young men and women, one of whom is prophesied to be the Dragon Reborn, who will either save or destroy humanity. Based on Robert Jordan's best-selling fantasy novels, The Wheel of Time was adapted for television by executive producer, showrunner, Rafe Judkins, Larry Mondragon, and Rick Selvage of Iowa Productions, Mike Weber and Ted Field of Radar Pictures, Darren Lemke, Marigo Kehoe, and Uda Britzwitz will also serve as executive producers with Britzwitz set to direct the first two episodes. Rosamund Pike will serve as producer and Harriet McDougall and Brandon Sanderson as consulting producers. Wheel of Time is co-produced by Amazon Studios and Sony Pictures Television. Let us know down in the comments section below what you think about the Wheel of Time Season 2 and this possible delay. Also, tell us your favorite actor in the series is. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye.